Hi, welcome to the how to play video of Operation Escape Evil. A month ago, you received an invite from Earth Vision Industrial Labs, which read, Congratulations, Professor. You are among four genius chemists chosen from around the world to participate in the ultimate clash of the chemists. The challenge is to synthesize a growth potion that can put an end to the growing epidemic of malnutrition. May no one die of hunger again. You and the three other scientists were taken in a helicopter to a state-of-the-art laboratory situated on a secret island somewhere in the Mediterranean Sea. The facility is protected by several guards led by a former prison warden. Soon after entering the lab, you were escorted to the warden's office where the evil chairman offered a lot of money. He asked you to create a mind control potion that will enable him to rule the world. And for rejecting the offer, you were locked up within the lab. The only way to escape is via the underground fire escape behind the warden's office. But distracting the warden is not an easy task. Magic is his only weakness. Can you use the chemicals in the laboratory to perform a magic trick and flee through the fire escape? Unfold the evil map and place it in the center. Place the 16 magic tricks in 3 separate piles as per their color. Place chemical cards, steel cards, change and action cards in separate piles at a handy distance to all players. Shuffle the steel cards and action cards well. Choose your favorite color pawn and place it on the map in the cell of the same color. Collect the corresponding set of color markers. The three colors of magic tricks identify three different levels of difficulty in playing the game. The orange ones require only two chemicals and are considered for beginners in chemistry. The red ones are of intermediate level and require three chemicals each. Finally, the purple ones are for advanced players and require four chemicals each. All players decide their preferred level of difficulty at the beginning of the game and pick one trick each from the same color tricks. Players may choose to roll dice to decide who chooses first. To complete the setup, identify the chemicals required to complete the magic tricks and reserve them on the map by placing your color markers showing only partial color. Some chemicals may be available at multiple locations. For example, water is available at five different locations. Here, 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 here and here. In such cases, the player may reserve the required chemical at any one location. However, during the game, the player is still free to purchase the chemical from any location as long as it is not reserved or purchased by any other player. If purchased at another location, move the color marker from the originally reserved place to the purchased place and turn the marker to show its full color. Each player rolls dice in their turn. The number on the dice indicates the number of steps that the player can move. Players can move only in the direction pointed by the arrows next to the steps. Some steps may have arrows pointing in two directions. In such cases, the player may choose to move in either direction. In the process, if a player lands at a guard, he or she picks one steel card from the top of the deck. The other side of the card indicates the amount of money he or she acquired from the guard. Beware, sometimes you may get caught. In such cases, go back to your cell and miss one turn. Once a player lands on a chemical, he or she may purchase the chemical using the steel cards acquired earlier. If required, use the change cards to complete the financial transaction. Place all used steel cards in a separate pile. Once purchased, turn your color marker to show its full color and collect the corresponding chemical card from its color pile. Players may also purchase chemicals that are not necessary for their magic tricks as long as they are not reserved or purchased by any other player. In such cases, once purchased, place your color marker showing its full color. If any other player lands on a chemical that you purchased, ask him or her the question written behind the chemical. If answered correctly, take $50 from him or her. If answered incorrectly, take $100 from the player. 
If that player does not have any money, he or she need not pay. During the game, if a player reaches any colored cell, that player misses his or her next turn. However, the player may choose to move away from the cell in the same turn by using a relevant action card. Action cards are special powers that the players can purchase for $50 each. These can provide players with special advantages that can improve their position in the game. There are 9 types of action cards. Let's take a quick look at them. Go to any guard. Using this card, a player may jump to any guard's step in the same turn. Take $100 from any player. Using this card, the player may choose to take $100 from any one player. Skip any player's turn. Use this card to skip any one player's turn. Move freely up to 4 steps. Use this card to move freely up to 4 steps without depending on the dice. Send any player back to cell. Use this card to force a player to go back to his or her cell. Go to any chemical. Use this card to jump to any chemical in the same turn. Go to warden's office. Use this card to jump from any position to the warden's office in the same turn. Collect any one chemical for free. Use this card to collect any one chemical of your choice for free. Remember to collect your chemical card and place your color marker on the collected chemical. Reverse any action played against you. Use this card to reverse the action played against you onto the player who initiates it. For example, if a player tries to skip your turn, you may use this card to instead skip his or her turn. A player may purchase a maximum of two cards in their turn but can use a maximum of only one card per turn. All cards may be used only in the player's turn except reverse which can be used in any player's turn. To activate a reverse, use it as soon as an action is played against you. Once a player has all the necessary chemicals required for the magic trick, he or she may roll dice to reach the warden's office. Once reached, enact and show other players your magic trick. And starting from next turn, roll dice to flee through the fire escape. Note that there are still a few tiny hurdles that may delay your escape attempt. Pray not to step on them. Once a player enters the fire escape, he or she cannot use any action cards and also turns immune to action cards of other players. You have now successfully completed your training. You are now fully equipped to escape the evil lab. Enjoy!